Why, hello there. Let me get chat back up so I can see you guys. How you doing today? Uh, you're back. That was very quick. Thank you for the reset, Kim. The party can now officially start now that Kim is here. Thanks. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Let's make sure everybody's leveled up. I don't remember if I did. I did. Okay. 43 months. That's almost four years. Did we wait that long for Kimberly? Yes. Apparently. No, really? So, the longest time I would start, I would switch over and start talking. And then, um... And then the ad would play, so now I wait to end pre-stream until the ad is done. That way nobody feels like they missed anything. Um, are you sure we're on the right path? Doesn't this feel off? We followed the right route. According to Boliaris's data, we should be... Everything here looks so sumptuous and lavish. Wait. Hmm? It's the right path, but we shouldn't be here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't we? Noah is currently a uh, yum smith. <laughs> you haven't been watching the VODs. This place, I saw an image of it in training. We gotta go! Noah, is this where I think it is? Yeah. The throne room. This is not just bad place. This worstest place. Heart of enemy base. We haven't been noticed yet. Let's get out of here. Now. Good idea. Time to hot foot it out of here. What are you doing? We have to go. No, what are you doing? What are you playing at? Come on! Well, of course, he's the leader. <laughs> Is this? Yeah. I barely remember it. Yeah. This is the place where we were born. Spark. This is creepy. Were we ever like that? My skin's crawling. Please, can we leave? All those people... Do you think they're sleeping? Hey, Paulo, how are you doing today? Or maybe they're... Wait, is that... It is her. What? Ethel! Huh? Good just got off a call. What, like a work call? That's crazy. How can it be Ethel? Well... It sure looks like her, but this is definitely a first-termer. No, it really is Ethel. From when we first met her. Yeah, no mistake. W what do you mean, when you first met? What in the spark is this? <laughs> Unfortunately, I am no good at drawing. Us, right? So I can't, uh, I can't have a, a drawing redeem. Like Pix does. <laughs> I'm no good at art. Born from the queen, we fight, and then to the queen you return. Shout out to Jenna Coleman, by the way. Queen of Chemists. 
So if it's from Xenoblade 1 or 2, it is fair game. You have returned, Just nothing from further along in this game. Anything past the point that's currently on stream is off limits. A console. But anything from previous titles is fair game. To intrude on the presence of Her Majesty, Melia Antiqua. There's a golden console? What is this guy? He's not like ah. the other consoles we've met. Mio, be careful. <sighs> Mio! Uh, sorry. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. What? Yeah, Melia is the, uh, the Queen of Kevis. Nia is the Queen of Agnes. We have seen both of them. Haven't been, like, name-dropped, I don't think, but... What is... the sensation? I have endeavored, for countless years, to protect and shelter Kevis under my aegis. And now you seek to bring ruin to this world. This grieves me. Come off it. How are we bringing ruin to anything? You seek to deny it. Think upon your actions. Have you or have you not destroyed Colony Flame Cloth? We didn't have any choice. No choice. Indeed. I assume then you had no choice but to collude with our sworn enemy. That's why you've been trying to wipe us out. Both us and Ethel's Colony 4. Verily, it is said, Uroboros abhor this world. You must be erased, lest this world be destroyed. We don't abhor anything. Do you realize how many battles we've fought and won for Kevis? We've served you our whole lives, and now this bollocks! Your Majesty, please! You say you fight for Kevis. That you've served us. Are you certain? Rather, it seems, you have been fighting for yourselves and none other. <sighs> you cling to life in your desperation. That is why you have fought. <laughs> damn, Rose coming swinging at Melia. God damn. Now, by my Server crit damage. <laughs> Then it is not her majesty's verdict, it is the will of the world. It's what indeed the security of this world is paramount. Therefore, Uroboros, the end is nigh, for you shall die by my hand. And now we fight the Queen of Kevez, Melia Antiqua. Because it's either her or us. Melia comes packing many of her elemental skills from previous games. Good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say. Can Melia break? I don't think I've seen any of the party get break. Use vicious mockery. This isn't D&D. Or do you mean, can she be break broken? Because yes. I think she has very high resistance. But, uh... Enough attempts, and like, everybody in the party has break right now. Because I have a very unbalanced, um... I have a very, uh, unbalanced team as far as, uh, driver combo, so... Yeah. <laughs> Why is Uni dead? Okay, Uni's not dead anymore. I'm dead though. I'm not dead anymore. No. Not unbalanced in a good way. Unbalanced as in, I have exclusively break. Nobody has topple. Uh, I only have smash on a uh, 
Talon Art, and I don't have launch on anything. Except Ouroboros Arts. Mainly because I haven't gotten classes with everything yet. <laughs> And I had the same problem in the in in my first playthrough. Um, I had a million things with uh, Brick Tuple Days uh, Burst, but nothing with um, nothing with um, uh, Launcher Smash. All right, let's go with Lance. Bleed, bleed is helpful. Delete healing. And I want to end this on one of the defenders. I guess Mio is probably the better one. Hit her with the Your Father Died protecting you from the monster you released on the world. Yeah, no. I. I... You're a level 15 bard, you can't help it. <laughs> Yeah, I've not, um, I don't have very good party balance because I just haven't, I haven't gotten, um, uh, I haven't been doing every side quest, right? So I haven't gotten, um, many of the, um, the driver combo pieces because it's spread between every art and not, hey, this art has this, hey, this art has this. Yeah, we've been fighting a lot of machines lately, so having him around has been helpful. How do you make me do every side quest? Um... Money. Kim, help. Kim doesn't have the money either. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll start with Uni. And then we'll style on her with both lands and Senna. I look I await the day that you get money. Uh, there is a high chance that I do not finish the game before July. You are correct. Amazing. 888 damage. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to kill. Although it is going to do a lot of damage. I, what have I done? <laughs> That's a good question. Is there a way to check that? Because I'm genuinely not sure. I wasn't expecting anybody to genuinely be interested in it, so I didn't set a, a money amount. I'd have to think about that.
Seven or eight million, that's with multiple lucky crap on you on a weak enemy. I know, but we have to. Even so, Noah! Summon Flare! <laughs> What do you mean, Matt Pat was right? Your Majesty is a machine. Spark off. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Was that your doing, Queen? You haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. What? Again? Blast it! Why does he make my head hurt? Noah! What's wrong? Did you not just hear him monologuing? Viva la revolution! <laughs> Wait, those Levnesses? Yeah, we've seen one before. Gotta be! Noah, let's book it! Yes, they won't be attacking the colony now. There's no point in our being here anymore. You're right. I like how N is just standing here during all this, deflecting bullets, it's great.
Like, how many bullets do they have in a magazine to keep him pinned there for that long? That's what I gotta wonder. Oh good, they got Ethel. The passage of fate. How easily it slips from my grasp. Yet, perhaps, it will come within reach once more. And if it does, what will you do then? Need you ask? I will give us equilibrium. A time unchanging. Our eternity. We have to keep track of our progress. Time bears down on us without mercy. How should we live the days that we have left? What should we spend them on? We saw one possible answer to those questions. But we cannot accept it. Not even as a last resort. After all, it was the only path that was offered to those two. We should all be free to choose our own way. That's our belief. That's why we fight. So, Cloud, you remember when, um... Remember when you asked at the beginning of stream, before Kim got here, if this is the game where they fight clones of themselves? Yeah, I didn't know if Kim was here yet, so that's why I didn't answer directly. And I didn't want her to be spoiled. I mean, she guessed it early on, but I didn't want to tell her she was right. <laughs> you gonna hit something or not? Huh? What use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets? But I'm just practicing. Say, why a hammer? Uh. This looks more your style. <laughs> totally. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Gun. Whoa! Spark me silly. She beat five eight termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice one, Mimi! That was awesome! Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Miabi? Oh, Miabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Sure, I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No, I'm ready if you are. Huh? I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true, <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> um. 
Hey, Senna. There's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no, that's not... That's absolutely. Senna. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Uh... I mean, yes, fish can give protein for your muscles, but there are other ways of getting that protein. You don't have to force yourself to eat something you don't like. Eat meat or beans, exactly. You kind of knew it when you saw the hair. I think that should be far enough. So, when I first saw N on my first playthrough, I recognized him, but I didn't connect him to Noah right away. What was that? Huh? What's that? <laughs> Did Which is something? weird because of how obvious it is in hindsight. You just said something about doing good or whatever? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Must have just slipped out. <laughs> You seem so lonely. Huh? At training, in camp, at night. She's always got friends right by her. But why does it seem like she's all alone? How come? So that's the way you see me, huh? A loner? Senna. I was hoping more plucky heroin girl or one track muscle head. That's more what I kind of shoot for. Now look. Oh, no, you don't. I think you're just being nosy. Senna, please. I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. It was, in fact, not fine. Can you believe we just had to run all that way? I don't know who they were, but they hadn't th had that force not intervened. I shudder to think what would have happened. What would have happened was it would have been our curtains for us. Usually a strategy is something you're supposed to prepare beforehand. Uh. Noah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta tell... When someone asks you if you're if you're fine, you gotta tell them you're fine and you're not fine. Guess we have no more use for castles and queens, huh? We're not going back, I know that much. Nope, we're going forward now. You're right. To the sword. Not far now before we meet your sword march. Let's go. How do I get there? Up ahead is the Cadenzia region. We'll be at the base of the Great Sword before too long. Finally. I mean, it'd be a waste not to claim it at Looks this point. Like they're coming over here. Focus on that. We crashed it. Uh, hey guys. It would be great if you would come fight with me, guys. Where is literally anybody else? 
Thank you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What took you guys so long? Jumped over the cliff. Okay, but usually they teleport in a lot sooner, not try to walk all the way around the fucking pillar. Okay, now seems as good a time as any to show you something new. And actually, uh, do I have a new. Is anybody else at rank 10? A few people. Okay, so I do have options now. So let me make... We'll make... No, the only... Can I make her a healer? I guess I can make her a thaumaturge. Leave the healing to me. Yeah, we'll make her a thaumaturge. We'll make you her like a yum smith. And then Uni, I think? Yeah, Uni is the other one. What am I missing? I need a defender. I guess I can make her a Naponic champion. Nothing's getting past me. Sorry, let me let me set these guys up for their stuff. <laughs> what are you? You're a healer. Accuracy down. Really? I'm limited to only one? Heals out nearby allies. 30 chance. Defiant. Honestly, attack up is more useful. I get heal, I get big heal. Yeah. Okay, you need you. attack let's boost damage when attacking from from by 70 percent yeah that's probably fine sorry I I try not to spend too much time doing this on stream but I'm like hang on I need to figure this out now I could put multi blast on her and just I would lose some damage but I would get extra healing or I could put on blaze
Well, that's not the planet. That's just one of the nations. Demolition. Demolition's probably better. I probably want more damage. And then Senna. Why would the game decide to put Wide Slash on? Like, I know we're not based around crits as, as a Yumsmith, but come on. I'm still an attacker. I don't want to... Fucking... Sure? Maximum voltage. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. <laughs> I have to think about this again. Because the thing that I want to show requires setting somebody to, to sword fighter. And I'm like, wait, no, I need to set somebody to sword fighter. I was going to do Senna, but Senna's already got it maxed out. I'm like, okay, so I got to make uni. So I got to figure out what I want to set Senna to. And I'm thinking... Uh, maybe Zephyr? Problem is, is that I don't have Topple. And Topple opens the others. But I don't have anybody who needs to... Um, he's not done with Naponic Champion. So. Neither is she. She's not finished with... I forget what classes have what, uh... Things as well, which does not help in the slightest. And I can al but I could always, hmm. I can always make... Extra attacker, or an extra healer, or something. You need my help. What? Service. What? Thank you. Okay, I know it's been a while since I've been here. What do you have? You have topple. Okay. All right. So then I don't feel as bad changing off of you early. No, you're already maxed. Changing off of you. Okay. <laughs> Skills. Sure. Well, Ninja Healer might be helpful. Yeah. Your fine as is. Your probably fine as is. Yeah, and I don't have control over you. Okay. Gems. I want. Uh, crit damage. I want. Uh, disperse bloodlust. And double strike. You cannot change, you change. You're fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Accessories! <laughs> yeah, you can keep the knob on strap. Loose images, sure. Sure. You haven't changed. You haven't changed. No. Yes. Okay. So, ultimately, the thing that I want to show is here in System. It is under Amiibo. If I hold an Amiibo to the NFC touchpoint, which... For the sake of argument, I can grab my Pyra and Mithra Amiibo. And I hold one of them to the NFC touchpoint. If I can make a connection through the box. I would like to do this through the box game. Damn, NFC reader ain't helping today. Fail to read Amiibo, yeah, shut up. Come on. I don't want to have to open them. Please? 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 I don't want to open it. Crap. <laughs> if I have to open it, I will switch to full screen. I just... Don't know if I have a scene set up for it. Come on. Come on. These will be more valuable if... I... Can I tr can I get Mithra? Okay, here's an idea. We're gonna use Joy-Cons. Ha! So, special rewards. Special weapon acquired. Equipped from clothing, attachments. Usable class, sword fighter only. So, if I go to... Who did I make? Uni. If I go to clothing... And then press Y, which is the attachments section. By default, you have no attach attachments. But now we have Aegis Sword Pyra. So if I zoom in the camera, target something that's not part of a, a battle, and then draw my blade, Uni is now using Pyra Sword. And that's really cool. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to switch my controller back to the Pro Controller. <laughs> so we're going to play with Uni playing with uh, Iris Sword for just a little while. I want the knob on coins. This is my favorite thing in the that they did in the game. And there is technically a way to get it without, but it requires a lot of uh a lot of grinding. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. It gave me wide slash again. Alright, I need to fix that. Hey. 
Oh my god, a daze. That means we actually got a topple off. Thank you, Zeon, for having topple on your kit. Oh, it's so good. I've missed having topple. Uh, unfortunately, it makes no difference to the Ouroboros forms, but that's fine. But it is very exciting to have references to these past games. It is very nice. Conquered. XPC3 has a lot of references to past games. That is very true. But in in all honesty, having the Swordfighter class um, having the Swordfighters be other um, other weapons is very nice. Probably my favorite thing that it does. What are you and why do you care? That we do, that we do. Okay, I can't get to that, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Probably? Probably get up there. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. Well, shoot. Lost cause then. Where am I going? Cadencia. That's right. Jerk Gully Gate. These city things really real. <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies. This is a very pretty region, and you can just see the Great Sword pretty much anywhere from in here. It's that it's very nice, and I'm pretty sure it's fully modeled too. That's the wild thing. Here's a new camp. Let's see. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. <laughs> Thank you, Zeon, for being underleveled. Two from here. All right, I see a unique monster. Let's fight it. We've been spotted. Here, I'll take you on. Someone's needy. I was going to make a prediction on whether or not I beat it, but I forgot. 
Kevez is um, the nation based on the peoples of uh, Xenoblade 1. I forgot to take off White Slash, damn it. getting this passive healing. Hmm. Not complaining, mind, but... Where did we get the launch from? Why are you questioning free healing? I was not. I said, wait, where am I getting that from? Not that I'm complaining. Okay, so, so the days make sense. Where did the launch come from? Was it- it had to have been somebody's Ouroboros form. Jeez, just blitzing through the, the thing. Burst. Brilliant. And immediately got a, a new breakup. I love it. Ah yes, everybody's favorite boss theme. Welcome back, Palu. What do you mean, broke up? Oh, oh, oh. The, uh, there are status effects, effectively, in this game that are called break, topple, uh, and then it splits off into two directions. Okay. Uh, more like, like, broke up his defense than, like, actually breaking something physically. I got a very bad roll here. Alright, I'm gonna do tie on here. And we're gonna do break top of days. And then we're gonna end on Tyon. So that I get extra renewal. How difficult it must be to swing a two ton sword while swing. True! And Tyon is back in action already. Oh, I got lucky! I got Mio back! Awesome. Perfect. Beautiful. It's what I like to see, game. It's not a high 
beat, but I beat. Zion just does not want to go away today. God damn. Hmm. And then we have the style on him. It only makes sense. And then we end on Tyon for as much damage as possible. Do I like singing? I do enjoy singing. It can be very fun. Oh. Oh no. I'm sorry, am I walking on the water during this? Screw you two, game. What do you think, Tyon? It's a little hard to tell when we uh, we'll get the candy day. What do you demand? I uh, let me double check everything that you got, cause I, in all honest, you don't remember everything that was on the list. Uh, loud. Let's see, scroll, scroll, scroll. American candy. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, the bunch of stuff that he's getting. It's a bunch of random stuff, random assortment of American candy that he's getting. Internet from from a. I remember talking about you getting the American candy. I don't remember everything that was in the listing. Because, again, I live in America. I just see these things regularly. Uh, I'm going to recommend... Hmm, probably the safest thing to start with would be the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That would probably be like the safest thing to start with. Yeah, no, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups is probably the safest thing to s the safest thing to start with because it's uh not 
not too sweet, not too sour. <laughs> oh, but aren't you a ginormous sparker? Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> Let's get to the base of the sword. Gernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. Breath unsure. Odd breath. I love the subtitles in this game. They're very funny. Welcome to the Great Sword Space. It's a very beautiful region. And like I said before, you can see the top of the sword. Or not the top of the sword, but a lot of it. Lots of endemic life to be found. I see. Now I'd really like to look around. It's things like this that make me so glad that Monolith decided to to do what Animal Crossing did on the 3DS. Get out of the way, guys. And let you do this to let you have a screenshot of just the landscape. It would be a little bit better if, you know, everybody would get out of the way. But like, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. So glad that they let us have that. What's wrong? Mio? I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Those Lebnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... So why surround us? We are the lost numbers, sworn enemies of Mobius. What? There are others standing against Mobius. Nikhil, do not make me ban you. The name's Monica. Monica Vanden. The man who entrusted Ouroboros to you. I'm his daughter. Daughter? You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't ya? How do you... That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. You're yeah, right. Oh. Stay close.
Leibniz from earlier disappeared into the sky. Yup. Oh, and before we take you to the city, you have to wear these. I see high ether. <laughs> eye patches. They're the same as the ones we wear. Put them over the eye where your iris is. What? They won't hurt you. Thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate this. So, I said we aren't hostile. But that, that might not be enough to earn your trust, I'm guessing. If it lays your fears to rest, you could treat me as your prisoner until we reach the city. Huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, darling. I don't want a prisoner? Whatever, I'll be your escort then. I should point out, you won't find anyone better with a mace in the lost numbers. Yeah, well don't bash us with about with it or anything. If I wanted to, then your attitude would have earned you a thrashing already. <laughs> So, let's be on our way. Shania will show you how to go. More like a medieval. Okay, yes, I appreciate you, Shania, but this is more important right now. Oh, I didn't even remember that Noah was a yumsmith, so I was like, wait, do I have two on? And, it, and yes, I've had it for a while now. Anyway, closer to a medieval mace than, like, a can of mace. Shania is just standing there staring at us like, what are you fools doing? I'm reading another ethosphere. That should about do us for now. Alright, Shania, lead the way. I hate escort missions, don't you? Although she is actually keeping pace. Alright, I guess I have to fight this thing. You're not even going to bother helping us. I know you have a gun. Yes, because you have to follow her. You can't just beeline it to where she's going. You do actually have to keep around her. Because, like, she'll get far enough away and then just stop moving. So if I were to beeline it to where she's bringing us, she would eventually stop. And we wouldn't be able to, like, be there. So it counts as an escort mission by the technical term. Or the technical definition, I should say. Where is she? If only you didn't charge off on your own. And then sometimes she goes backwards when you get into a fight instead of forwards. It's like, come on, man. Naya, I really don't like you. You have a gun. You can help us. Monica, can I ask you something? Oh, apparently. 
Why is Monica dying? Monica is dead. Cool. As you could expect, on my first playthrough when I got here, Monica was a lot higher level than me. Of course, it's me, you kind of expect that type of shit at this point. What does Damage Link do? I can't... I'm not quite sure. The sword face. And how are we meant to get to the city from here? Um, yeah, this is a dead end. Wrong. Though you wouldn't know it. Whoa. Meh! A door! The door, the door, the door. This leads into the great sword. The city's this way. What a masterful disguise. Huh? When Ethel said there was nothing of interest in Sword March, guess she never found this. They've seen how many science and magic things and this surprises them? Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? Remember, Nikhil, this is the crowd that didn't know what the word daughter meant. Literally moments before this. So much to see, huh? What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. In all honesty, if... if if I were in their shoes, I would probably be just as surprised. Well, also, if this were a lesser game, I would have had to go around and not been able to cut through here. A door. It is locked. Inside the great sword all along? Save a bit of surprise, I said. Better give it a good once over. Fuller elevator landing. <laughs> I bet you this door is locked too. Oh, nope, cutscene. So, Guernica, that's... 
that wrinkly guy back then yeah you said you were his daughter what's that mean i completely forgot you don't understand the concept of parenthood i'll explain later later meaning in the city that's where the elevator's taking us <sighs> You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? We'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros blood. Just what are you? It's a long story, Noah. Gonna be a lot to take in. So they could be radio hosts. You know? Technically? <laughs> We're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. The radio signal, or being radio hosts, or the fact that they're so high up, or both. Can you save your observations for later? Come on. Yeah, just, just, just hang on, Shania, you impatient brat. I want to take in the view. Welcome to the Great Swords Hilt. Let's dive from there. I don't know if the game will let me. I think it voids me out. Plus, there's no water here to dive into. I mean, there's water out there, but that's not close enough. Love it. I can never get enough of it. Whoa, got a rare dude right here. That thing's gonna attack me. Kevis Castle's got nothing on this dizzy in height. You're telling me just looking down makes me feel faint. Um my head kind of hurts. Yeah, that's a normal. Ah, yeah. That happens when you gain altitude fast. You've only been sort of listening because you were supposed to be in a meeting. God damn it, Kim. What do you mean, what happened with Senna? You mean before when she was talking to Lance? Self doubt. Entrance is up ahead. Senna is having self doubt because Mio is better in every conceivable way. At least in her mind. I disagree with that, but you know. This is all sparking amazing. <laughs> you know, I would be sad too if I dropped my wallet. 
You can take the eye patches off now. Won't need them past this point. Oh, right. And you're sure about that? So you know how Mobius has pretty much known where we are the entire game? The eye patches will block that. The city's got some signal jam and tech that functions just like the eye patches, blocking detection by Mobius. We're safe inside, you have my word. I suppose that must be the reason why they haven't been able to discover the city thus far. You got that right. This place is our last redoubt and our sole haven in this world. But as soon as we step outside, Mobius are all over us like a bad wool sweater. What I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patches when you're out and about, that's all. I hear you loud and clear. We'll remember. Welcome to the city, too. This is the city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes. They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. So, it's just the one eye each. Us. For looking out for us. Because of the, um, yeah, sure. They have like special Absolutely. eyes in one eye each. But please stay vigilant. That's why they each only have to wear one eye patch. More colonies added. Colony registered city. I don't think the city is really a colony, but okay. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. I'll take that. Wonder what's inside. This has got to be worth a bunch. We should take good care of that. This is a big ass city, yes. All right, where'd you go, Shania? There you are. This is your favorite track in the game? Ouroboros. Ouroboros, yeah. So there. You could tell by the afro. And they're from Kevin and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. They could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey. Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Manana's by tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Dam wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that 
that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Bandon. Uh, all right then. <sighs> Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. So, to answer your question, Naya, as you heard, was one of the candidates to inherit the Ouroboros power. And this woman here, Monica, she was the daughter of Guernica, who we met at the beginning of the game. They are part of the city here, as well as the Lost Numbers, which is a faction of the city set to fight Mobius. Introduce you to them another time. All right. I see some relations mm, have changed. Good. How about we grab something? Let's make yeah, can we give me some on some shit today? Oh, I, I can't. That's right. Aqua Pata La City. XP boost twenty five percent. Sure. I'll start, shall I? I'm feeling energized already. New recipe learned. Ceris Caprice Aquapata. So that's a new recipe then. All right, let's get going. I no, see I'm some wasted. relations have changed. Oh yeah, no, it, it's pretty funny, Kim. You don't have to stop if you don't want to. You um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. <laughs> uh, Good thing the jiggle physics works. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. They kind of looked that way. That's a little... too harsh. <laughs> Sorry. Poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. I see some relations have changed. I see a ladder on the map. How do I get to it? I see some relations have changed. Mm, this way? Not this way. Maybe this way? I don't remember my way around the city, if you couldn't tell. I knew it at one point. But I do not remember it now. This is a door. This is a locked door. I knew it! Damn it. I should probably just wait. It would probably be better to just wait to explore until I'm done with all the cutscene stuff. But that ladder is gonna bother me. It's gotta be up there somewhere. Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. 
I run so much faster than Shania. Letter. Tall ladder. What is this way? Another ladder. The original ladder, I think. Let's use this. There's a lot of stuff you didn't like in the city when you started. So many things you wanted to see. Yeah, it sucks that so much of it is, like, blocked off. I see a container down there. That's where I'm heading. Yes, but if I see thing, I want to get thing because I know I will forget thing. Because I'm me. And I am very forgetful, you know this. Wonder what's inside. We should take good care of that. Yes. But also, letters are just generally already marked. But again, I will forget to, that I haven't checked it yet because it's... Oh, hey, a ladder. And it's like, oh, I probably grabbed that on my first time here. Even if the answer is no, you didn't. If it's easily accessible, my brain just defaults to, you did it already. You you had to have if it's that easy. Part of the problem that I have with randomizers, too, <laughs> in all honesty. Because there's one, like, very obvious check that I'll be like, Nah, I got it already. I had to have. Hi, Shania. Sorry I was gone for so long. Except not really. I hate being around you. Praetorian Hill. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Nikhil, you know why I don't like Shania. Spread this far. There's even more. More husks underneath. Been a secretly a level twenty bard. I can totally see that. This right here okay. Is the world I mean, really like. I'm not gonna. Uh, to I'll take the compliment. Xenoblade One starting Keep equipment only won't run when. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but I that does sound interesting. Difficult, but interesting. Hey, no. You know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? I didn't mean to cut off that dialogue. I'm actually really sad Are that I did. Cradles. 
Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Bethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius' shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh... Right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. Come, I'll show you. Or more like Shania will show us, because, like, she's the one actually leading us around the city. Honestly, I yeah. Believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. And now this is my favorite comedy scene. Where are we? This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? Baby. Baby.
so small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Gently now. You little baby. Don't ruin this. And <laughs> look at Tyon just trying to look over their shoulders. Mimi, it's incredible. L let me have a turn. <laughs> this is incredible, Senna. That baby's hand's gotta be tired from gripping everybody's fingers. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up! <laughs> that baby's gonna be fine. You're thinking too hard, Nikhil. media it doesn't need to be that realistic uh, hmm. this is how it should be this is human nature we are born defenseless grow up then those who find a spouse create new life together age then return to the earth Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Rom... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it.
You'll understand too someday. Except for you, you're about to die. Actually, real quick, do we get to which one? This one, I think it was. None of them have it. I was wondering if we could actually see the eye patch that Monica just left, but nope. All right, it was worth checking. All right, Shania, where are you bringing us now? It here, it's here. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... They don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queen's? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real queens. Yes, real queens. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. 
We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. It was so precious. Shania. More walking to do. This is the last stretch. To get you to the dorms. Mobius warning level. The Kevas and Agnes warning signals have combined to form a single Mobius warning level. Looks like colony relations have changed. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. This is a dorm for young lost numbers soldiers. You could sleep here while you're in the city. And ask that guy about your rooms. Oh, and sadly, there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat at the Machiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow, we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How shall we arrange that? Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. It's a place down the lift from near the Praetorian Hill, which we pass on the way here. I'll let you know closer to the time. Oh, before I forget, you're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? Said we weren't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Alright. So... I guess we'll sleep. Hey mate, where's our where's our room? Rooms are ready for you now. How about getting some rest? D. N, you say. You know him. I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. 
He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Huh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Oh, I got some news earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night. Wow, soft beds are really comfy. Who knew? I'm fairly sure you've always slept well, even in sleeping bags. Same. Riku knows lens. Lens, sleep on anything. You lot, weren't you even a little nervous? Clearly you were nervous enough for all of us, judging by those dark circles under your eyes. You couldn't just meekly go to sleep after getting here and processing all that information. That sounds more like excitement than nerves, if you ask me. Well, it looks like last night's jumble of information will be sorted out in the war room. Right. We should probably start making a move over to the war room then. Right, agreed. Monica said, You take the lift down from near the Praetorian Hill, right? That, that's the Swords Hilt Guard. All the way there, huh? Okay then. Except I'm not going to go right there. I actually want to go back this way. Get to the war room. We saw those signs of battles against Agnes and Kevis yesterday, right? Let's go there first. Uh, how do I get down there? I'll just jump. It's easier to just jump. I actually want to go... Yeah, it is this here. Over here. Memorial Hill. We have a lot of reading to do. But I'm going to take a quick break, run to the bathroom, and then we'll do that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Alright, let's see. Anything new in chat? No. Alright, that's fine. Yes, they do have the butt sway animation. Alright, who's ready for lore? So where do you want me to start? I can start here at number one, here at number six, somewhere in between, or the center. Take your pick. Number three. The one that looks like Noah. House Van Dam. In memory of the founder of House Van Dam, the city's restorer and liberator. The original incarnation of the city was once laid to ruin by Mobius N's hand. The founder fully realized, realized fully the power of Ouroboros, heretofore limited, and fought against N, ousting him. Once victorious, he gathered the old city's people, scattered to the winds, and re-established the city. With the city restored, he left its government in the hands of the founder of Doyle, and departed on a lonely expedition. No records exist of his fate thereafter. Heirs to Van Damme's lineage only returned to the new city several centuries later. Oral tradition has it that the founder was master of the classical art of fist fighting, and the scions of House Van Damme carry on the custom to this day. Alright, Cloud, you asked for number four. House Doyle! In memory of the founder of House Doyle and the city's liberatrix, directly descended from those who established the first original city. Her whereabouts were lost after End's ravaging of this city of old, but upon encountering the other founders, she committed herself fully to the fight. This founder is said to have a familial relation to the founder of Van Damme, with scant extant records suggesting they were likely brother and sister. She fought alongside the founder of Van Damme then, who was the elder of the two and brought the power of Ouroboros to completion. Said to have been bright and wise, this founder laid the cornerstones for much of the city's governance and legal system. Alright, who do we want to read next? So, number six. House Ortiz. In memory of the founder of House Ortiz and the city's liberator, a Kavesi soldier, this founder was released from the Flame Clock sister system by the other founders, and henceforth spent every last ounce of his energy for the cause to liberate the city as one of the first Ouroboros. With surpassing skill in mechanical engineering, the founder fought not with a blade, but with a weapon of his own fabrication. He was also responsible for laying the foundations of all the mechanical systems supporting the city to this day. Following the fight against Mobius, he poured the remainder of his days into rebuilding the city, before finally perishing at the age of 80 years. Though how he attained that feat despite his origins as a Govesi soldier remains unexplained. Similarly, House Rhodes, a soldier of Agnes. This founder's fight to the death against the founder of Ortiz, a soldier of Kevis, was interrupted by a chance meeting with other founders. Freed from the bondage of her flame clock, she joined the fight against Mobius. Although a soldier, the founder is reported to have been exceedingly gentle and kind at heart. Additionally, her skill in the healing arts greatly contributed to the development of medical science in the city in later ages. And irrespective of starting life as an Agnian soldier, she is said to have surpassed 80 years of age, though the way she achieved that remains shrouded in mystery. House Cassini I like your attitude, Kido. In memory of the founder of House Cassini and the city's liberatrix. Much like with the founder of Reed, this statue too depicts the founder's respected mentor, rather than the founder herself. The mentor boasted a robust physique, wielding two great swords at once with utmost ease, and facing down Mobius despite the loss of one eye. He lived his life an unsophisticated sort, broad-minded but impassioned and is said to have aided the Founders in the fight against Mobius, physically and spiritually. He was further reported to have been a free spirit, whose qualities influenced the other Founders, still young and impressible when the city was restored. Indelible proof of this rebellious spirit 
can be seen time and again in the ethos of the house in generations to come. Yes, that is Rex. Man got a huge glow up. House Cassini, in memory of the founder of House Cassini and the city's liberatrix. Much like with the founder of Reed, this statue too depicts this founder's respected mentor rather than the founder herself. The mentor boasted a robust physique, wielding two great swords at once with utmost ease, and facing down Mobius despite the loss of one eye. He lived his life an unsophisticated sword, broad-minded but impassioned, and is said to have aided the founders in the fight against Mobius, physically and spiritually. He was further reported to have been a free spirit, whose qualities influenced the other founders, still young and impressible when the city was restored. Indelible proof of this rebellious spirit can be seen time and again in the ethos of the house in generations to come. Basically, he showed him a thing of three. I mean, honestly, without knowing, it does look more like Zeke than it does Rex. But that is in in uh, that is Rex, hands down, as proven by the DLC. We do actually meet all of these people in the DLC. And finally, number five. House Reed. In memory of the founder of House Reed and the city's liberatrix. Rather than the founder herself, this statue depicts the founder's mentor figure, standing as a sign of the deep reverence and devotion she felt for her teacher. Founder's master was unconnected to her by bonds of blood, yet he raised her as he would befit a child of one's own, it is said. Though of a calm and constant disposition, the sight of him on the battlefield, great red sword in hand, struck fear into many a Mobius. And though the vicious struggle against Mobius cost this ferocious warrior his right arm, the loss did nothing to diminish his desire to hone his martial skills each day standing as a vivid testament to his indomitable will. I'm glad you catch on. This is indeed Shulk. Shulk and Rex were memorialized alongside the Founders. Fun fact, by the way. For a, a little while, there were people that thought that this was Shulk. I don't know how. When that is right there, and mentions a great red sword. <laughs> but you know. Eh. Alright. And also, this one mentions two great swords. Eh, Pyra, Mithra, eh, just, just saying. Anyway. The Ouroboros Stone's Cage. The object on display upon this plinth is the very first, original, Ouroboros Stone's Cage. It is important to note that initial designs for the monument are said to have included a statue of a seventh founder in its place. Next to no information remains about the seventh founder's identity, and it is possible that this is due, not due, to a simple loss of records. Rather, historians speculate that this is the result of a conscious decision by the seventh founder. I wonder who that could be. Nope. You would think, but... As we see in the DLC... Nah. Because remember, at the end of 2, he has Pyra and Mithra separate. 
Daddy, Daddy, can we get this book? Sure thing, champ. What a good choice. That'll probably help you with your studies. I don't care about my studies. <laughs> I so want some new clothes. Might have to be a bit patient. City clothing. You haven't seen the DLC, but I very much appreciate the scavenger force retrieving those supplies. Sure ain't an easy job. They're going to Nam Wetlands next. The fight never stops for them. Uh, you, as far, I do remember you seeing a, um, the, the first trailer of the DLC in a direct. I do very distinctly remember you mentioning that. And what is this? What's this? Sheet music? Someone's sheet music. This sounds pretty serious. I, I swear we have talked about you seeing Daddy Rex before. If not, you'll see him soon. Yeah, yeah, shut up. It's been a while since my last war council. Hope this isn't one of the boring ones. I did see Buff Rex and Shulk and Elvis Bug. I did not see anything specific because you were trying not to be spoiled. Okay. Yeah, so that first trailer there. Well, one, you did see Daddy Rex, but it um, it doesn't really spoil much, if anything. Welcome to the war room. You can't fight in here. This is the war room. Okay, then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are. Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp, and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Because I didn't understand what you were trying to say there. On the day of an eclipse, once a year... They hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected, high into the sky. Rest in peace. Oh no. So that's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queen's. A month. Mia. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Yes, Mia was dying. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you know what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius eye thing. Oh, that. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. As long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? 
You've put the Cavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well, that's how we do things. It's but not how we do things. I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. But kind doesn't win wars. There's a Nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him. Mr. Salmon's engineering department? Go down the lift near Dolgan Cliff and you'll find it in no time. It's a big lift you took to get up here. You know the one? Right. Well, that's it. Ciao. Oh, what? You're not going to show us the way? There's a strategy meeting we have to be at, discussing what to do after the infiltration. Oh, you're infiltrating the prison too. Well, it was originally our plan. Let's see. Looking forward to working with you, then. Yes, yeah, sorry, not gonna be all buddy-buddy with you. Yeah, fuck this guy. Wow, what crawled up his ass? Look at it from their perspective. We essentially took the Ouroboros powers that were originally intended for them. But... Ooh, ooh excuse me. What does that have to do with any of this? Let's just play our part for now. We should head to engineering. Standard quests, castle access. I joined the Lost Numbers in hopes of becoming as fine a man as Guernica. I see some relations in the hopes change. of becoming as strong and as kind as him. And yet, even as of this day, it still remains an aspiration. Kinda seems like you're just an asshole. <laughs> Pardon me if I'm wrong, but damn. You're having that much trouble. Where? How do I get to the rest spot? Because I have several conversations we need to have. Because otherwise they will sit in my conversation book for the rest of the game. I don't remember my way around. Uh, I think I could do it at the canteen, actually. Better make sure we're well rested. I can. Okay, good. Okay, so please explain to me what you mean by the the the. Girl stealing life, because I didn't understand that really. And then I did acknowledge the stroke being done, man, I think. Oh, yeah, see? See? I have shit sitting here from chapter fucking two. <laughs> Where should I start? I wonder if we've become more like Ethel. What's that about Ethel? I mean, like, we saved Kyrie from the hands of the enemy earlier, yeah? It's kind of like when Ethel saved us way back when. Huh, yeah, she did do that. Haven't thought about it in a while. And this time, we were the rescuers. That's kind of an emotion- kind of emotional to think about. Oh, but remember, she took on Eleveness that day all on- all by her own sparking self. And that was in her third term. Uh, yeah, she did do that. I guess if it were easy to be Ethel, everyone would be doing it. I'd heard rumors, but it seems they were, if anything, vastly understated. What a formidable warrior. Wow, thinking about trying to match Ethel makes me feel less confident than ever. We could still work hard to become someone that someone else might want to emulate. How about that? Let's lay out the facts. We've been through a lot since we settled on getting to the city, huh? We all made it through in one piece. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah. We're seeing a world that we've never known before, experiencing it for the first time. 
I just wish I could have let Gernika know that too. If it wasn't for him, we'd have been cut right down right where we stood. Yep, or maybe just ended up blindly killing each other in battle like every other schmuck. I'm glad it didn't come to that. <sighs> yeah, think about it. What the old man gave us, it was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day. But I really want to know more about it. I wonder what his motive was for giving us that power. No, in fact, I think we have a duty to find out. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems all the city folk thought he was pr a pretty awesome guy, huh? Especially Monica. He was a really special person for her, right? Indeed. Monica was referring to him as dad, even. It's a city custom. That's what they call the person who raises them. Perhaps we could ask Monica about Guernica, find out what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now, fighting to make them real. Bandem's heir. I think we need to discuss this. Don't you remember that a Rochmar skin care routine revolves the lives of like children? I do remember that. But like which, which, who were you referring to doing that? So, Mobius are, is very strong, yes. So, about this sheet music we found in the city. I gave it a play, and the melody made me really happy for some reason. It's so strange, it's completely different to Offseer melodies. It uh, looks like only half the music is here, though. I'd really like to know the rest. Someone in the city will have dropped it. Should we see if we can find who it belongs to? Yes, please. Okay, let's find somewhere with plenty of people and try asking around. I'm going to set that as the active quest. They said we don't know how they managed to... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. it has nothing to do with the Rochamaru shit. I think we need to discuss this. The city's full of things I've never heard of, and all this amazing tech and stuff. They seem to have to scavenge things like Levness parts like we do. It'll be a sight harder than just normal scavenging, too. Outwitting both Agnes and Kevis to get the stuff they need. Not my idea of fun. And they can't leave any trace behind either. That's why they have a specialized scavenging force. They're elite, but in a different way to Monica's core, which fight on the front line. I assume there can't be many of them, so the force can stay flexible and mobile. What, like a little secret platoon? Hey, could we pay a visit to Nam Wetlands ourselves? I would like to know more about these lost numbers. Yeah, I didn't. The joke flew over my head, sorry. You're curious about the scavengers? A little. It seems like a lot of hard work. We could lend them a hand. They're probably pretty short-handed over there. At least, you made it sound like you're a titchy little unit. Oh, so it's my fault, is it? Well, regardless, it'd be a good opportunity to get to know them better. To numb what lens it is. Except not yet, because I have some sheet music to find. City clothing. Could you all come around for a second? So those clothes we'd uh, borrowed all that time ago, I guess they were city made in the first place? Huh, thinking about it, does that mean we might see people with the same outfits walking around? Wait, you don't think my style, it's not weird or anything, right? Hmm, I wonder. We did get dressed in a hurry then. There wasn't time to think about style too carefully. Judging from the city people's perspective, it's not impossible that something about the ensemble might appear extremely offensive. Oh no, this is what I was afraid of. You look fine, Noah. Don't let Tyon's mutterings get you down. Say, what about Tyon's clothes then? I need my attire to be functional. That's it. It's entirely pointless to worry solely about its appearance. Wow, that's pretty sensible, actually. A very Tyon approach. While we're on the subject, Tyon, there's something I wanted to say for a while now. What is it? Your scarf is deeply uncool. What did you just say? Repeat yourself, I dare you. <laughs> I knew it. You're as vain as the rest of us, you poser. Where Read it. I start? Did you notice how in the city, people called adults, like Monica, teach those smaller folks things? Not smaller folks, Uni. The word's children. I saw adults reading books to children. It was a really peaceful scene somehow. Yeah, I remember in our old training and lectures, it basically beat stuff into us. Nothing so relaxed as this. I imagine Monica would say this is how things are meant to be. 
You'd have a point. I can't really imagine those children holding weapons, fighting for their lives. Before Monica became an adult, do you think Guernica read to her like that too? I guess he might have? Strange, isn't it? I can't picture it at all. Yeah, a bit outlandish, isn't it? Alright, I got through all the conversations. Alright, now we gotta go find the sheet music's composer. Trying to find the person who dropped the sheet music. Oh, that's Grandad's. I can't believe he's been dropping things in the middle of the street again. You can't keep doing this. Do you mind introducing us to him? We'd actually quite like to meet him. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can help me find him. Oh, and Grandad, he's probably standing on a bridge somewhere, worrying himself sick. Thank you. He's really hard to talk to. Hmm? Good to add more names. Are you Grandad? Oh my god, it's this guy. <laughs> okay, Boomer. I forgot that this guy is actually just named Boomer. Excuse me. There you are. Granddad, you dropped your sheet music again. You can't just say you can't write good music and throw everything away. Wait, you wrote this piece? We wanted to know how the rest of it went, so we came looking for you. It's such a lovely melody. I'd love to be able to play it all the way through. Okay, Boomer. Um, did he hear me? I think he wants you to go with him. Good to okay, Boomer. Names. Boomer? What are you- where- what? Oh. I see some relations have changed. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, 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 water and water and water, water, water and water I hate escort missions, by the way. I hate escort missions. Problem is I have to be very careful about my speed when I activate the auto walk, otherwise I'm gonna go too fast or too slow. Wait, where'd he go? I looked away. Come on, Boomer. I could literally run circles around you if I really wanted to. Going, Boomer. Boomer, please. Boomer, come on. I want to be done. Where are we going?
such pretty music. Manana, dig it! Getting groovy! I think Granddad enjoyed himself. We had fun playing together, too. Pretty different from your off seeing tunes, innit? It feels a lot more jaunty. It's true, the simple act of listening makes you feel connected to everyone around you. How bizarre. Manana would like to listen again. I'd like to write something like that one day, too. You will. I'm sure of it. Quest complete. The partial score was written by Boomer. Noah, Mio, and Boomer's joint performance of the piece left a melodious mark on the city. I see some relations have changed. Alright, what's next? Let's check the quest log. Lands is maxed out. Noah's maxed out. Okay. So, Lands. So you can't go back to the other colony to let I can! I just haven't. So I got a whack him. I can do that. What do I need? I need a healer. Oh piss. Okay. Take care um. of support. Yes, I can go level Ethel's colony up. Uh Uh, I'm gonna be done soon, like, within the next half hour. I'm just, I saw that they were maxed out, I'm like, okay, I guess I have to figure this out now. Overfall is either defense down, that's fine as a healer. Dark banner, inflict sleep, that's fine. Although I might change the order around. God, no. I have work at 5 a.m. I cannot do a 24-hour stream. What? Yeah. And I'll do your arts now, too. Resist damage taken by twenty percent. Okay, so Swing is probably the best there. I have no hero right now. You need my help at your service. All right, skills. Uh, just, uh, sure. Splix Senate counter and I'm sure Goose amount of HP healer 
You're not a healer, though. Gems, your healer. Accessories, circlet of wood. Yeah. Don't like that though. This vision. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you have a new class available? What is it? Zeon's class, okay. Alright. Now that I've done that. It was uni. Yes, she is an attacker. I do not want her to have a thing that lowers her crit damage. Okay. This time for real. Uh, where am I? Where's... It's around this way, right? Need a new objective. No, I need the rest point near where we were staying for the night. And I just don't remember my way around the city ever. Not the war room. Not the canteen. Not the remember. No. This is where I am. I suddenly have this feeling of being watched. They've never seen folks with wings before. They're the weird ones. Just stare back. I am looking for a sp that. I'm looking for that. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? All right, let's clean everybody up. There we go. Why can there only be five radio eyes? Let's keep things on a tight loop. Everybody. Basically, every character in the game has has it. Do we have any snacks? We have right. to keep track of our progress. Now that we have um made good story progress. Oh, I love that they do actually have the swapped flutes. Now that we've made good story progress, I will figure out what it'll take to get me, um... To do every side quest in the game because Nikhil was asking about it earlier. But for now, I'm gonna call it here for today. I'm gonna send you over to Patrick, who is playing Splatoon 3. Why did the blokes get angry because our friends got it and not them? So, there can only be six... Ouroboros alive at a, t a time. That has nothing to do with the eye patches and, and the radio signal from the eyes. That is a separate thing. Our main party has the, abil the ability to combine into basically a kaiju. 
because we have the power known as Ouroboros. Anyway, I'm going to end stream. I'm going to send you over to Patrick. He's playing Splatoon 3. <laughs> Basically an Ava, yeah. Alright. Have a good one, everybody. I have some stuff to do throughout the day today. Pretty much plot reasons. Most